Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little coaster to match the pot holder that uh, I made um, a few years ago. You seen the picture of it there in the thumbnail. If not, I'll insert the picture right here. And I'll put a link to that tutorial below that you, so you can make the pot holder. Um, and then you can make these coasters to match. Aren't they adorbs? But I do have to say this was not my idea. Um, someone on Etsy at, uh, emailed me and asked me if I would make a set of coasters to match the pot holder because she wanted to use them as gifts. And I said, why well, yes, that is such a great idea. And I thought it was. So I cannot take credit for this idea. But I did come up with the pattern. But it was her idea to make a matching set of coasters. So thank you if you are watching. I think they turned out adorbs. So... And they're super easy too. I mean, super, super easy. You can whip these up in no time, make a set of four, and make a pot holders, and you got a nice little gift set, or use them in your house. So, so cute. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how easy this is. Remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and then turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos or any of my yarn content. It's a really uh, fun time here on my channel. And don't forget to check out all my hundreds of other tutorials that I have already. Um, I have about anything. Well, I do have anything pretty much that you could ever want to make in multiples of them. All right. So for this project, I'm using um, cotton yarn. This is Premier Home Cotton. It's 85 cotton, 15 polyester. Um, you don't have to use a cotton, but the reason why I am using cotton is because um, this is supposed to be a coaster, and cotton works well, works better um, for water. So, you know, if it's, you, know, you got to drink that sweat, and it's going to absorb the water a little bit better. But acrylic would work too. Um, that would be fine, you know, if that's all you have. But make sure it's a four, four weight yarn. So, but I'm using um, this one. Um, the color is called cream i'm using it in this red and the color is cranberry and then i got some peaches and cream cotton i'm actually just using a bunch of scrap cotton can i just say that and just some balls of cotton that i had laying around this is peaches and cream now this is 100 percent cotton that's what i use for his beak it's called sunshine and then i actually found some black cotton i can't tell you what it is um because it came in a bag of millions but it is a, it's, it's, such a, it's a four weight cotton so that is what you'll need you can make your chick in any color that you want, though. Your little baby chick. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So this is super easy, super fun, super cute, great gift to do. Let's get started. So first off, we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. All right, now we're gonna work a chain up four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna slip stitch back into the first stitch to form a ring. Now you can use the magic circle here if you prefer. So we go ahead and slip stitch into it. And we're gonna, I always use my middle finger and put it in between the hook and the chain. And then I slip stitch. That way it keeps that circle tuck on the tail open until you, until you start to work in it. Now we're going to chain one. Now that chain one doesn't count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we're going to pretend like it's not even there. And now we're going to work through the center of the ring and we're going to work 12 double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, go into the ring, draw up a loop back up through the ring, and go ahead and do a double crochet. Now we want to do that 12 times. So that was number one. There's two, there's three, four. All right, once you make it to the end of round one, you should have 12 double crochets. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and slip stitch into our first double, not the chain one. Remember, it doesn't count as anything. The first double crochet, go ahead and slip stitch into it. And that will end round one. Now we can go ahead and pull that tail and close up that circle a little bit more. And then later on we'll sew it shut the rest of the way. So now we're going to go ahead and start round two by chaining 
one. Now that chain one doesn't count as anything. So we're gonna work right back here into the same spot that we just slip stitched into and we're gonna work two double crochets into that spot. So there's one and then one more into the same spot. There's two. Now for round two, we're gonna work around and we're gonna put two double crochets into every stitch. So there's one and then two into that one. And then we go to the next stitch and we're gonna put two double crochets into that one. One and two. And we're gonna continue this pattern all the way around until we get back to our starting point. Two double crochets in every stitch until we make it back to the beginning. All right, once you make it to the end of round two, you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet over here. And you should have a total of 24 stitches now. Now we'll go ahead and start round three. So we're gonna start with the chain one. And we're gonna go right back into that same spot that we just slip stitched into. And we're gonna work one double crochet into that stitch. Like that. Now the next stitch, we are gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one and there's two. So that is the repeat for round three. One double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the next. one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the next. So we're gonna repeat this pattern of one double, two double, one double, two double, one double, two double, all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, so I've made it to the end of round three and your last stitch should have had two double crochets in it and now you should have a total of 36 stitches. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. So now we are going to start the head of the chicken. So we're gonna work, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and chain one and we are going to go back into the same stitch right here that we just slip stitched into and we're going to work one single crochet into that stitch and then in the same stitch again we're going to work one half double crochet and then in the same stitch again we're going to work one double crochet so all in that first stitch we worked a single a half double and a double now we're gonna move on to the next stitch. So make sure you pull these stitches back. So right here is our next stitch. And in the next stitch, we're gonna put six double crochets all into the same stitch. So there's one, two, remember they're all going in the same one, six of them, three, four, five and six and now we're going to work into the next stitch and you might have to slide these over so you get the right one right there and we're going to work one double crochet into that stitch one half double into the same stitch and one single into the same stitch. So that will be our head of our chicken right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches. So make sure you pull that back and right here we're going to put one and the next one. There's two. The next one is three and then the next one is four. So that was four single crochets in a row. Now we're gonna work on his feathers. 
So what we're going to do is skip one stitch. So we skip one and in the next stitch we're going to work a shell. And the shell is five double crochets in the same stitch. So skip one and in the next one we're going to put five doubles into the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to skip one and in the next we're going to single crochet. And this is what we're going to repeat. We're going to skip one and we're going to work a shell into the next. So five double crochets into the next. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, skip one, and single crochet into the next. And then we repeat again. We skip one and shell into the next. So five doubles into the next. One, two, three, four, and there's five, and then we skip one and single into the next. Now we're going to repeat this until we have a total of six of our shells. So we have three right now. So go ahead and repeat until you get done with your sixth shell, and that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I've got my six shells here. Not count, we don't count the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. What I'm gonna do now is skip one and slip stitch into the next, not single, but slip stitch. And then we can tie that off and clip our yarn. So that is that, like that. Okay. Now we're going to work with our red and we're going to start on his combs on the top there and his little uh, waddle. So we're going to start the comb. We're going to have we're going to have five of these little combs. See them? One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to start in the very first stitch that we made for the head. So the very first right here, the very first single crochet that we made you look here you'll be able to find it right there we're gonna put our hook in there and grab our yarn through okay and so what we're gonna do we're gonna chain one now this is how we gonna we're going to make every waddle we're gonna go back into that stitch and we're gonna work a single crochet a half double crochet into the same stitch and then another single crochet into the same stitch. So that's how the the waddles are done. So we're going to skip the next stitch. So you might need to pull this back. Skip this one here and go to the next. Make sure you pull it back otherwise you'll miss this guy here and you don't you don't want to miss him. So skip it and in the next one we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work a single crochet in the same stitch, a half double crochet, and then a single crochet into the same stitch. So now we have two waddles. Again, pull that back a little bit. Skip one stitch and in the next one we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work a single a half double and a single all into the same stitch. We're going to do this until we have five little waddles. So there's three. Again, we're going to skip one and in the next we're going to single crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. So we have four waddles. We're going to do one more here. So we're going to skip one and right here we're going to single crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet all into that same stitch. Now we're going to pull that up. 
We're not slip stitching or anything. We're just going to tie it off just like that and just go ahead and pull your yarn through and later on we'll hide that. So there are our five waddles. So throw that to the side there. Now we're going to work on his uh, I guess these are combs. They're not waddles. I'm sorry. Combs. Five combs. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work on this waddle. I apologize. I don't know my chicken parts. All right. So we're going to work now for the waddle here on the chest area. So we're going to put it in the last stitch of the head. So if you come over here to where you put your last comb and you skip two stitches, skip, skip, the next one will be the last stitch of the head. So you skip those two stitches there and start your yarn in that stitch right there. All right, we're going to start by chaining one. Now we're going to work right back into that same stitch and we're going to work a single crochet. And then we're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to put a slip stitch into the next. And then we can tie that off. So that was a single, half double, double, single, slip stitch. So that's how we made his uh, chest piece there. And now we are going to make his beak. So we're going to need a little bit of yellow yarn. The beak is really easy to do. And we're going to start it in the stitch above his... So this stitch right here above his um, waddle. So we are going to chain two. One, two. We're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So single crochet actually in the first chain. And then we are going to slip stitch back right here into the first stitch that our comb went into. Like that. Pull that out. Put that off like that. Go ahead and pull it all the way out. All right. So now we need to hide a few tails. So let's get them hidden to where they look all neat before we put the eye on. So first off, we'll start with this one back here. That is, and we're going to go ahead and hide that. Close that circle up. So we're going to use our yarn needle and load that tail up that we have. And what I do to close up the circle is I just go around it here like this and tug on it and it, as you're hiding your tail it closes up that circle too there we go that one's done circle's closed okay let's slip it over here let's hide this tail of his feather Okay, hiding these tails is a little bit is a way you got to kind of hide them in a way that makes them look neat. So, what you do is go back from the front side, go back through the stitch that you just that you slip stitched into, like that, and then flip it over, and now you can hide your tails. Kind of just weave them in through these little shells back here. Not extremely tight though back and forth a couple times and that'll lock it in so it doesn't come undone there's that one okay let's see what we got next I hid the, the one from his combs uh, the first one I hid as I went crocheted my combs 
Okay, so now we have this one here <laughs> on top of this comb. So we're going to take it. Because we didn't slip this, this one or anything. Flip it over here to the back side. And just take your hook and go through the loop like these loops right here. Not through the top loop. Not through this one. But kind of through there. And do it gently to where you don't pull the comb real tight. Like that. And then we can kind of weave it underneath the other combs. Nice and gently though. We don't want to pull it too tight so it makes the comb on top look different. Okay. Now we're going to do, let's see, we got the comb or his waddle. So this one I hid. I'm going to pull it tight as I was going. If not, you can just hide it like normal. And then the one on the other side. You can kind of hide your tails, I guess, any way you want to. I'm just trying to, the tails are kind of on this one um, a little bit important so they look so they don't stretch it out too much. Um, go back into the same stitch. That, that, that you slip stitched into like that. There we go. And now pull around the back and hide it underneath these stitches here. And back the other way. There we go. And then we got his beak. So we got two to hide on his beak. Let's do his the back one first. Not the one that we slip stitched. So just kind of take it and hide it. I'm going to hide it along the comb here. Underneath the comb here. And then we got the one in front here that we slip stitched. So we're going to go back through the same stitch that we slip stitched. So here's our beak. Here's our tail. Go back through that stitch that you slip stitched with your yarn. Pull it tight and hold your beak tight at the same time. See, I'm pinching my beak and I'm pulling that tight. There we go. And then we're going to neatly hide that tail as well. Okay, now we just got to do the eye. There we go. That oh, looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so for the eye, you can use a googly eye if you want. I think that would be really cute. I tried the googly eye, but I didn't have one quite small enough. So, to match the pot holder I did, I'm just going to use a black piece of yarn. And you just find, figure out where you want your eye to go. So I'm just going to put mine somewhere. I just got a piece of yarn here. It's about a foot long probably. That's way too much. But actually go in from the behind. to Find out where you want your in between a stitch. Not to like. Not in between the stitches. But in between a stitch itself. So see this. I'm going to want to go in between this double crochet right here. I'm going to come up, hold some tail back there, and then I'm going to go over a little bit. See that? That way it grabs on the other, it grabs on like that, just like that. Pull it out just a little bit. Now we have to hide this tail and make sure that we don't um, pull that eye out too much.
if you want to make two of these and sew them together so that you don't see these tails you can do that too that's what i highly that's what i recommend to do with the uh pod holder to give it extra durability otherwise it would just be for decoration purposes only but you don't make sure just keep making sure you don't pull your eye through and just I think he's cute. I do. I think it turned out nice. Let me go ahead and clip this off and we'll take a look at him. See how he looks. There he is. Super cute. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed watching me hide all those tails. I just hopefully that that helps you out a little bit. I just wanted to show you how I did it, but that's it. That's all there is to it. He turned out really cute. So now you got a nice little cute little pot holder to match that uh, cute little um, coaster. You can make a set of them to match that pot holder giveaway as a gift. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about the mini chicken. And if you've made the big one or not. And if you're going to. And I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Bye, guys. Take care.